I'm Shane. This is Michelle, Georgia, and Brandon. We're a family from Australia, and we just love Japan. So we're on a 28-day, 4,000-kilometer journey to see as much of this beautiful country as possible. So join us on our epic family road trip across Japan. Mystery meat, could be chicken, could be pork, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. Very good. Okay, the mystery meat turned out to be crumb prawn cutlets, so yeah, very good. Biggest surprise than I thought. Now in Australia, this costs an absolute fortune. No, fortune. Five, six, ten dollars, some of that. But here, two bucks. Except we've got to pay about two thousand dollars worth of airfares to get here. Still, come here for cheap sandwiches. <laughs> Down that way. So wait, what's in this book? Mystery meat sandwich number two. Um, I'm fairly confident this one is a potato chicken. Very good. Chicken. And our last picnic snack for lunch is um, a donut scroll. Not much left. I've um, eaten most of it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Only a buck. 100 yen. Awesome.
and it's um, got a, the river on one side and a little canal on the other side and it's just lined with Sakura and it's very beautiful right here in the heart of downtown Kyoto. Kiyamuzu Temple Complex um, at the top of the hill here in Kyoto. We've just come up one of the old old streets, which is called something Adori, which I'll put here somewhere. And uh, I've never seen it so packed. We've just walked up Ninenzaka and Sananzaka, which is the uh, two historic streets here that's just basically full of tourist shops and food shops and things like that. And I've never seen so many people here. Uh, when we've been here in the past, it's been winter time and it was you know, busy, but the past? the past is a long time ago. <laughs> back in the olden days, back in the olden days when we came here, it was well, there was no one here, but um, now it is just wall to wall people. Uh, it's just into spring, and it was and Brandon said the, it's when the dinosaurs were here. Yeah, it's just into spring now, and uh, the people have certainly turned up, especially this week. I can't remember what's on this week, but there's something on in Kyoto, and it's very busy. Maybe it's the Sakura, the temple complex up here at the top at Kiyomizu, Kiyomizu Dera, is really busy as well. There are people everywhere. complex behind me and I don't know if you can actually see it but it's covered in scaffolding which is typical for places we visit but anyway this is it lots of crowds lots of people and that's about it next we'll go down to the two old streets which are the, the geisha streets you usually see geishas wandering up and down those and um, yeah, it could be interesting I'm thinking it's going to be pretty packed though This is one of the old, old geisha roads, trails, walks, streets, Sanenzaga.
Leninzaka, one of the two old geisha streets, and it still has the original Starbucks from the Edo period. Uh, it was the first Starbucks here in Japan, and it was probably whenever the Edo period was. I'll have to put the date down here somewhere. Apparently the Emperor used to love coming down here for a couple of quick cappuccinos. Good night, Brandon. Cuckoo, yay!